Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to edit a pre-existing slider in Slider Revolution. My goal is to allow you to either change images within your slides or add new slides to your slider. On top of this, I'll show you how to throw in some text. So we'll be editing the slider here on this website and to do that, we'll go up to our dashboard at the top left and head into Slider Revolution. You can then see our pre-existing slides here. And I'm going to click on our home slider. So here we are in our slider editor. To view each slide within the slider, you can hover over the slides tab and you can see all our sliders here. There's seven total. If your goal is to add an additional slide, you can either click add slides here or you can duplicate a pre-existing slide by clicking this button here. It looks like a page. So I'll go ahead and duplicate the last slide. And you can now see there are eight slides. You can change the name of this slide by clicking the gear icon and hovering over the name here and typing in your desired name. So the reason why you duplicate a slide is because it can be efficient where you won't have to add new layers like text and a background box. You can just simply edit this pre-existing content and type in um, new content here. To change the image, you click on this background image layer. And then on the sidebar to the right here, you can click on media library. And this is where you'll select your new image and or upload a new image to your files. So I'll go to our media library and click on this image here and insert it into the page. And you can see our background image now changes. And when we have the image layer selected, it hides the text. So we can view the text by clicking this top layer here and it'll show all the layers in order. Let's say you weren't editing these layers and you wanted to insert text and an image. Well, first I'll delete these layers by holding control. And then you can delete a layer by clicking the trash can icon at the top. So here we have a blank slate. We can add our image by going to the add layer feature here and clicking image, WordPress library. We'll click our media library image here and insert it into the page at the bottom right. All right, with our image now dropped into the slider, you can see we have an image layer here. And there's also this blue dotted line. The blue dotted line is actually the slider dimensions. So any part of this image that goes outside of the blue dotted line here will not be visible. You'll also notice the image is not perfectly centered. So to center this image, you can go to the size and pros setting here in the layers options. And the first setting under position and size is alignment. We can align the image to the center by clicking the middle icon here and the middle icon here. This aligns vertically and horizontally. My image was already perfectly sized to fit the slider, but if yours was too small like this, or say too big, well, you can hold control and then with the mouse wheel, scroll down and it'll zoom out so that you can see the image. And then these white dots on the side of the image, you can click and hold and then drag your image to scale it down. And then we will control mouse wheel in again, and then resize this one more time to fit the edge of our blue outline. Image looks good. We can now preview this by clicking the preview button at the bottom left and we'll click the back arrow here because we want to view the last slide. And here's our last slide. To throw in some text to this, we'll go to the add layer option here and we can click on text and we'll add a quick style headline. Our text pops in here at the top left and we can click on this little drag icon to scale it up. And then on our menu sidebar here, we have fonts. So we'll go ahead and choose a bold font, scale that up again. We scroll down, you can also select a shadow. Then we'll exit out of this. And in our layer options, you can go to content to change the text to whatever your desired text. So we'll type slider tutorial. Just like the image, I'd like to center this so we can go up to size and pose and under alignment, click on the middle icons again for vertical and horizontal center. So there's the basics. Once again, we'll preview that and click on our back arrow. And there is a slider with text. The last feature I'll show you is adding an animation to this. I would like the image to fade in and the text to slide in. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if we click on our text layer and you look to the right, we have our timeline here and we have a six second timeline, which is the duration of our slider. This blue box that says 300 and the blue box at the end here that says 300, this is our animation. And this 300 is 300 milliseconds. So it's a 300 millisecond animation. So if I click and hover over the timeline, you can see that our image and text is fading in. That's the default animation is fade in at 300 milliseconds. So I can change this animation by clicking the 300 box next to the text and it'll open the animations tab in the layer options. I can then change the animation duration if I go into the basics here and say I want this to be two seconds, we'll type 2000 milliseconds. By default, the text animation is set to fade in and you can change this animation style by making sure that anim2 is selected and you click on the in here and a drop down will come up with different animation types. So you can play around and check out some of these, but I'll go with the slide transitions 
And if we hover over these, it'll display the animation. So I'll go a slide from left and change that to 2000. And my animation is now complete. I'd like to delay this a little bit so you can click on this 2000 box and drag it out a little bit in the timeline and I'll set it to one second. So at the one second mark of our slider, the animation will play and the text will slide in. The only thing I'm going to do for the background is click on the background layer and our image is currently at 300 milliseconds. I want to set that to 1000, which will be one second. And that'll just draw out the fading in of the image a bit longer. And we'll go ahead and preview this. And there you go. And that will conclude the end of our tutorial. If you're new to Slider Revolution and you haven't watched many tutorials, then you're probably noticing this is quite a complex software. It's highly customizable and there's lots of features, so it can definitely be overwhelming for new users. If you're wanting to learn more and get more comfortable in Slider Evolution, I'll have some links below that'll help you. These will be video tutorials that'll cover the basics, learn more about layers, timeline, animations, and everything you need to know to be working on sliders. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.